Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. First, uh, Happy New Year 2022 to everyone. In today's video, I want to do a simple assembling. It's the last balaclava or ski mask that I just did. I made my pattern from the first one I present, but if you wish to buy my pattern, it's available in my Etsy boutique. Here we have the balaclava that we're sewing today. Three pattern piece, the main piece that is cut one pair, and you have the two center front piece that are cut on the fold of the fabric. Now the first step, we'll do it on the two center front piece. You're going to overlock three thread overlock for the finishing, the bottom part of the top piece and the top part of the bottom piece. Of course, if you do have a cover stitch machine, you could just hem both of them and stitch with your cover stitch but I don't, so I'll show you my way. I'm going to overlock and then fold and do the hem stitching right at the edge of the overlock for both of them. Now that both hem are done, you're going to take the top part and place it over the bottom part. You have notch here. This is to overlap. So you put the top one over the bottom one, add the notch, and you have notch also for the beginning of the other one under right here. And you do a stay stitch, about five millimeter, both sides, just like that. Now you could see my front is finished. I'm going to assemble all the back parts. So from the top all the way down to the neck with the four thread overlock. Once your back is assembled, we're going to put back and front together. You're going to assemble from the bottom on one side all around until the bottom on the other side placing your fabric good side with good side. You'll see you have reference notch for the sewing because you're sewing curve. So I put reference notch here and there. Just respect your notch and go all around. We just have to do the M at the neck. So I'm going to overlock three thread and I'm going to hem just a little bigger than one centimeter or three eighth of an inch and stitch all around. Don't forget that you have three intersection with seam allowance. Just invert the seam allowance direction to eliminate the thickness. the new style is finished. One thing that I did and I didn't talk about it is when I did my top stitch, single top stitch at the plain machine, you would say that plain machine it's not a stretchy seam. If you do have a zigzag you could do a tiny zigzag, it would be much better, but I'm used to do it with the plain machine and when I do so I use tiny stitch, very tiny, and I do pull a little bit on the fabric while doing it. And of course, I don't back tack. So if, if the thread needs to move a little, it could still move a little without breaking. And if you look at the hem here, it's still very stretchy. The fabric that I use today for this balaclava is a bamboo fabric. It does stretch a lot in both directions. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.